all the highlights and it's just all the action and it was just an action-packed fight. It was like mine. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you get rid of this it's brilliant. I, I don't remember that. There was a point where you, you were talking to him in, I think it was in the seventh round. What were you saying to him? Because you just started talking to him all the time. What were you saying? It was, yeah, it was late on in the rounds. So I started getting my energy back. So he's fighting. I'm getting hit. Boom, boom. I'm thinking, God, this guy's strong, man. <laughs> I'm fighting back and I just got my energy back and I just said to him, if you let me get through this round, I'm gonna knock you the f out. <laughs>
closing at the Leeds Grand November 3rd. <laughs> Uh, OK, well, it's time for our first act of the evening, and kicking us off tonight is this guy. That's right, it's England and Northampton rugby hard man, Mr Ben Foden! Hey, Ben, how are you doing? Uh, I'm all right, James. I'm a little bit nervous, but um, hopefully I won't make too much of a problem. For, for all of the ladies in the audience when I say... <laughs> Am I right? I mean, I don't know whether to shake your hand or lick your face. You know, unbelievable. Now, you are, of course, married to Una from the Saturdays. Did she give you any tips? She told me to um, visualise someone and pretend it's her, so obviously I'll, I'll pick the lovely Emma and oh, pop me some girl. Okay. That's taking a turn, Ben, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right, Ben, well, what are you going to do for us tonight? Uh, I'm going to sing a song. You're going to sing a song, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
and king of goal scoring, Wayne Rooney. What I want to know is how did each of them get engaged? Who proposed just as their partner was going under general anaesthetic? Who got down on one knee in the middle of New York's Times Square? And who popped the question in a petrol station? Blue team, what do you think? This is all about when you ask someone to spend the rest of their lives to you, with you. Jack, you've been in a long relationship now. Are you thinking about popping the question? Have you popped the question? Yeah, no, I asked her the big question. It was bad news. She Go said on. she wants to stick with missionary for the moment, but maybe on anniversaries. <laughs> Genuinely, when are you going to ask her to marry you? I'm not that big into the weddings. I ain't good, but it's a wedding every weekend now, because I'm in my late 20s. Yeah. I dread getting the invite to a post. It's like getting test results back from the doctor. You're like, okay, date, 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 Friday, damn it! It's a train there, train back to summer. Why can't you just have it on a weekend? They'd be like, venue, please be in London, please be in London. Isle of Skye. <laughs> there, hotel, train, that is three days of my life. I'm never going to get back to celebrate the holy loving matrimony of my stupid sister. <laughs> Emma, you are, of course, engaged to the lovely Jade. Oh, yeah. From uh, the pop band Damage. Here you are, yeah. together. Oh. How did Jade propose? How did he do it? He chilling out watching a bit of TV and then... What were you watching? <laughs> you said it. <laughs> hang on, wait, I'll be, hang on. I'll be Tanya, I'll be Tanya, you be you. East end of this on, like, someone go, Ricky, come back! <laughs> and you say to me, yeah. you say to me, we're Tanya, you know, that trip. Babe, will you marry me? Chip Man show. Yeah. And I just suddenly, in this moment, I just got down on one knee. I looked at my girlfriend and I said, Will you make me the happiest man in the world by turning this shit off? Fred, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I imagine uh, I imagine your proposal was difficult because when you get near a ring, you collapse. Uh, <laughs> how, how did you propose to Rachel? What did you do? I was in St. Lucia. Yeah. I was staying at an hotel and I said to him, I'm going to do this tonight, can you dress the room nicely? So I went out for dinner, I had a few, came back. And then there was like rose petals on the floor, there was a table with a bottle of champagne and flowers. And I said to her, I don't want to get married. You don't like that? Pretty much, yeah. Did you get down, <laughs> you get down on one knee? 
just as she was about to go under and it's going to be an operation. Brendan Rogers popped the question in New York and went to be locked down for one and did the deed in a petrol station. Uh,
Funniest Men on TV has found a new home on Sky One. The Russell Howard Hour is next. 